Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five beauty tips. I've been taking so many notes on like beauty things that I do, like products that I love, products that I hate, getting organized. And I'm a list person. I don't have a very good memory at all. So the first tip that I wanted to mention to you guys is a little gross. And I thought about not sharing it, but I think that a lot of people might need to know it. I used to only wash my hair once a week. I was experiencing dandruff and I never had dandruff before. And the fact that I wasn't washing my hair enough was creating oil buildup, which looked like dandruff, okay? I know it's kind of gross, but these flakes in my hair were really embarrassing and I didn't know what to do about it. I started going to a new hairstylist. Her name is Samantha, I love her. She told me that I need to start washing my hair more often. So I've been washing my hair every three days so that it's usually two to three times a week. I use a tea tree shampoo because tea tree is really natural and helps to cleanse naturally. So she said that the tea tree would really break up the dandruff that I was experiencing, dandruff I should say. She said to double cleanse, I would take a nickel size, scrub it into my scalp, wash it out, take another like dime size, I would say the next time and just wash my hair one more time and wash it out. I literally have no dandruff. It took a little bit. I've been doing it for over a month now. I wanna say it's been like eight or nine weeks that I've started doing it. And in the past week, I noticed that I don't have any more dandruff in my hair. Tip number two, you need to, I know that sounds very bossy, but you need to lotion your body every time you get out of the shower. When your body's still a little moist, I know that word is gross, when it's a little damp, I should say, because that is going to lock in the most moisture into your skin and it's going to make your skin really supple. I lotion my body from my head to my toes. I have a very not extensive, it's quick because I make it quick, but I use various lotions on various sections of my body. I use a thicker lotion on my booty and my midsection because I have like stretch marks, just like crepier skin in that area. And also I have cellulite, which most people do. I think like a study came out and it's 98% of women have cellulite. So it is what it is guys, we all have shit, but it's like, how do we deal with the shit in order to make us feel better about it? Anything that can be better, I try to make better. That's just my makeup, I feel like. I get out of the shower, I use my Brazilian bum bum cream. I use that all over my butt, my thighs. I use it on my knees as well because I find like your knees have a lot of folds in them which are prone to wrinkles. So I just really wanna hydrate the knees. And then I use my Aveeno. You guys know my sensitive skin. I use that all over my chest, my stomach. I just, I kind of put that everywhere except for my face and my booty where I put the bum bum cream, but I will go over my chest with the bum bum cream sometimes too. Just use whatever it is you're gonna use. And that is like my number one tip. I'm not even gonna include this on my five tips. Just use whatever it is you will use because nothing is gonna work if you don't use it. If you are someone that knows like, oh, if I go to the La Mer counter at Bloomingdale's and I buy $200 of this lotion, I will use it because every day that I look at that lotion, I will be reminded that I spent $200 and that will make me use it. Then use the La Mer lotion. If you're someone like me where I'm like, oh, I just want a one, two, three lotion my body. I want to be done and I'm cheap. So I'm not going to spend $200 on La Mer. So I'll go to the drugstore and I will use a vino in a pump because a pump is really easy. I love me a pump and I'll just pump, pump, rub it in and I'm done. Like whatever it is that you will use, use it. Newsflash, my friends. Wrinkles do not just happen here. Wrinkles happen everywhere on your hands, on your feet, on your knees, on your chest, on your stomach, on your ass. So like lotion. Don't just do preventive, preventative treatments up here. Let's do them everywhere. My third tip, fill in your brows before you pluck them. If you are someone that does your own eyebrows, fill them in first. In my lessons that I give with my clients, I find that when I say to them, show me how you fill in your brows, they will take a mirror, let's just pretend this is a brow pencil even though this is a pen, and they will literally fill in their brows like this close to the mirror and just fill them in. And like, I get it, you can see the bald spots the closer you are to the mirror. But the problem is, is that if you are filling in your brows this close and you fill both in and then you pull back, it doesn't matter what your brows look like this close. No one 
is going to get this close to you. Okay, most people, aside from the ones you let like in your personal space, will see you from a distance. So I always say, when filling in your brows, take a mirror and put it far away, like arm's length distance, okay? And then fill them in and get them to be symmetrical. I have very distant cousin brows. They're not even sisters, okay? Definitely not twins. This brow is just like the perfect brow. I love this bitch so much. She sits nice and high on my brow bone. Don't even need to fill her in on the bottom. Like she's thick AF down here. This other brow, this brow just doesn't sit as high. She's not as long. She doesn't have as great of a tail. She's pretty bald up here. And I love her. I love them both, okay? But you know like those TikTok videos where it's like which side of your face is better. I'm trying to get my whole damn face to look like the side that looks better. Fill in your brows from a distance. This way you can see what it is other people see you as. Get them to be symmetrical and then go in with your tweezer and only pluck what is like so obviously outside of the line. Don't pluck a hair if it's half in, half out of what you filled in. Just leave it. Less is always more. You can always take away more. You can't take away less. This has been really game changing for me and I haven't done it in a couple of days. So my nails look really atrocious. Now that I don't go to the nail salon anymore, I do my own nails and I hate when my nails look like this. Like, can you see that it's chipped AF and I hate a chip nail. So I wanted to just like take all this off today. This one's chipped too. And then sit down and film. But I was like, my, na my nails are not that bad. Maybe I could just go over them. I didn't have time, but I hate a chip nail. But anyway, nothing looks worse then dry ass cuticles. My cuticles are not good because I haven't taken my own advice in a couple days, but if my cuticles were smooth and just like not dry and crackly looking right now, I would feel better about this manicure. So I'm gonna go put cuticle oil on after I'm done filming this video. But my tip for you is, if you are not someone that's going to go to the nail salon and you don't wanna pay to get your nails done, and even if you do pay to get your nails done, by day five, like your cuticles are looking a little not great girl, let's not lie. So invest in, and it, when I say invest, it doesn't even need to be expensive. I think I bought a Sally Hansen one, cuticle oil every night before I go to bed. Not every night, because I just said I haven't done it in a couple nights, but I was doing it for a while and I'm gonna get back into it tonight. Before I go to bed, I sit down, I have a pump of hand lotion next to my bed. I do my hand lotion all over my hands, let that dry for a minute or two, and then I will go in with cuticle oil, rub that into my cuticles, and then go to bed with my hands outside of my blanket. They usually end up in my blanket, but you know, we start there. And it's so nice. I wake up in the morning, any of my dry skin is gone. Like, you know, like that white skin that lives around your cuticles, just it's gone. My hands look very feminine, sensual, and I just feel better about them. So cuticle oil and hand lotion. Common theme here. We want our skin to look supple. We don't want wrinkles. So, you know, wrinkles, they say you can tell a woman's age by her hands. Get some hand lotion. This was a good one, but I'm going to save that one until next month. So stay tuned. I'll teach you guys a trick on how to make your mouth look younger and juicier no matter what lip product you put on it. So we're gonna save that for next month, but okay, simple, brows again. Whether you're filling them in, whether you're doing your makeup or not, go into bed, just brush them up. I do this every time I get out of the shower, every time in the morning after I'm done washing my face, every, every time. I have a spoolie in my bathroom, I literally brush my brows up. And you just look more awake, you look more put together, your face entirely looks so much more lifted and it doesn't look droopy and it doesn't look saggy. It just, it changes the whole structure of your face. At night, I put lotion all over my face. Guys, take my spoolie when I'm done with my skincare routine, brush them up and my brows stay up because that lotion is in them. And I just look younger. I look more put together and my brows look more even because we all know I have like distant cousin brows, which I just talked about. Next month, I will share another five tips with you guys. So do be sure to subscribe and click that bell next to it. If you have not done so yet, this way you get a notification when that video goes live here on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.